You're listening to WBLZ, all music all the time, except for Sunday, when we stop playing music and bring you a live radio drama, Death on the Dial, a story of mystery, intrigue, and murder. Pardon me, sir. I'm Lieutenant Gumbo. Am I bothering you? Oh, Lieutenant. Uh, well, we're on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. I'll be going now. <laughs> There was one thing I wanted to add to this. Did you say something about a murder? No, no, no. I was talking about a radio play. Oh, my mistake. Thank you. <laughs> you know, there was one thing I wanted to add to this. I'm fascinated with all of this. Do you think that you would let me uh, help you, what do you call it, spin a platter, bust a jam? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, do you know anything about the control board? Well, I can't say that I do. I guess this would be the control board here. Maybe you just... No, no, just... Did I do Bobby that? Bobby Soul, don't forget to stop by the charity carnival on Saturday and get your free slice of pizza. Did somebody mention free pizza? <laughs> Marlon Brando. I don't believe it. I was just downstairs getting the slice to get the best pizza in Detroit. Could I do a scene with you as Michael Corleone? Oh. <laughs> Godfather, I carry bad news. Very bad news. Well, we're out of pizza. <laughs> no, Sonny is dead. Oh. More pizza for us. Please. Can we do one from Apocalypse Now? Ah, uh, so many bad memories. Yeah, we were in the jungle. Mosquitoes and the cheese. <laughs> the horror. The horror. You're listening to the Bobby Soul Show here on WBLZ. Today, a very special guest, the star of What About Bob, Jaws, and Close Encounters, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Dreyfus. Yeah, Bob, and I noticed that uh, you left out Moon Over Paranoia always and once around. Now, a more paranoid actor would think that you eliminated them to prove that they were really crappy movies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, Richard, I, uh, I love your work, all of it. As a matter of fact, I bet you could make anything dramatic. I bet you could make that weather report dramatic. Well, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> There is a cold front coming in from Canada that is going to be rather severe. I'm not talking about any ordinary cold front. I'm talking about ice and snow. I'm talking about a blizzard here, you know? That's great. That's enough. Thank you. No, it's not enough. If these people aren't warned, then you are going to have a major catastrophe on your hands, including traffic jams, lost mittens, and school closings. I'm talking about an ancient blizzard here, you know? Wow, you really brought that weather report to life. WBLZ community calendar. Oh, wow, all right, Robert De Niro Film Festival. I love Robert De Niro. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you doing me? Huh? Are you doing me? Listen, you little radio monkey. Don't make fun of me, because I know that's what you're doing. No, I'm sorry, I can't help it, Mr. De Niro. I'm your biggest fan. I don't think so. I got some bad ideas in my head. No, really, I thought it was a crime that you didn't get an Oscar for The Untouchables. Yeah, I thought it was a nice performance. I want him dead! I want his family dead! I want his house burnt to the ground! <laughs> Oh, wow, this is great. Um, you know, I loved um, uh, uh, Awakenings with you and Robin Williams. You didn't wake a thing, you woke a person. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you are, go back to sleep. You're scaring me. <laughs> That's very funny. You know, I know Robin Williams, and you do Robin better than Robin does. Very funny, Mr. Method Actor Man. <laughs> See if I ever do another film with you. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm too Bobby Stone. Nice work, okay? <laughs> <laughs>